Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Thursday afternoon? Well, I hope. As it is Tactical Thursday, we are going to be jumping back into the world, the brand new, basically, in between our module of Underrail, which we have at least two experts who show up to stream on. So we are we're getting a curated, a curated experience with the Underrail that I I really I think I want to appreciate for the wackiness of this whole whole experience and that works there it is there it is jeez that's obnoxious let's see uh only thing to really look out for at the moment is ask how trading works before you do it okay scene thank you again t12 all right let's grab the stuff okay a to take everything we read the files i'll read them again just in case it matters i doubt it does but we'll read them again, just in case. I do like that they each have a number, so you can use the uh, the numbers on the on your uh, on your keyboard. Hang rat. What could it mean? It's more like a. I can't. I can't read it. But yeah, we got two cactuses, which I was told was good luck, and then the broken pixel. Use repair mechanical pieces of gear, such as firearms. Okay, we have a hypo. We got bandages. Restores 140 health points over 7 seconds. Health must be over 40% in order for bandages to be effective. Oh. It's the resource 80, hit, 80 health points. Use it turn around in the tunnel to use the red needle to point to north. Do I... It's, do I put this someplace? Or... Do I just need to hold it? 200 credits, key card, of course. Patching kit can be used to patch leather armor and tactical vests. And a flare, an essential tool when venturing into the depths of Underrail. Use light an area for 30 seconds and immediately reveals any stealth targets when it lands. 30 seconds? 30 seconds. At 30 seconds? Uh, Compass is just there to tell you where north is for people who don't know, who don't know isometric models. Oh. Always bring your flares. Oh, I'll bring them. Don't worry. That's not the problem. The problem is that they only last for 30 seconds. Uh, Compass is a dev joke. Oh, I gotcha. The red arrow always points north and north is always this way. 30 seconds equals six turns. That's fine. That's not the problem. The problem is, is a six second flare or a 30 second flare is borderline useless. In real life, they work for 30 to 45 minutes. Ah, oh, God, it's fine. It's fine, everybody, it's fine. I mean, I guess they're not magic either, right? Technically they're magic in this because they can reveal hidden objects or hidden people or whatever. These are pre-descent flares? Descent? Like, before people went into the underrail, I'm guessing, is what you mean? Because, like... I could go buy road flares right now that would last for 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, it's kind of a combat utility item. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. It's locked. Are all locked? Hacking 30? I think we have a hacking of what, 10? So just walk around trying to walk into other people's apartments. Ooh, okay, so we have a bunch of places we can go. Nowhere. Okay, stay here for the moment. I just want to look around a little bit. It's tab, right? Yeah, tab to show things you can interact with or whatever. Interesting they show the light switches in the inside of the rooms even though you can't go in there. But don't go into combat utility. But doesn't go into the combat utility slot. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it is a bathroom. Okay. 
And why does it seem like everything is so dark? It just seems so dark. Like I halfway expect to come into this other bathroom and, and like some woman yells at me or something. Oh, they actually have fire extinguishers on the walls? What a luxury. I would have never guessed. It's one of those things, you know, you just take for granted. That there's always fire extinguishers around. Alright, um... Station platform and barracks. Armory and shooting range. Comms and cantina. Administration and library. Medical and psionics. Engineering and cyber labs? I guess if we wanted cyber limbs? Art... Are grun agrimony, agrimony and pens. I have no idea what that word is. Cave, tunnel, exit, and docks. The music is a bit too loud. Okay, no problem. That should be an easy fix. We can turn it down. We have the power. Try a 60. Try that. Oh, wait, that's better? There are. There are luxuries in South Underrail. Oh, okay, just in South Underrail. Got it, got it. Alright, so I'm assuming the armory and the shooting range is where we were at it in the, like, combat tutorial. Wow. Huh. North Underrail is where all the fancy people live. Oh, okay. Move along. Short man raises from, rises from behind his desk with a grenade case in his hands. The heavy case meets the top of the desk with a thud, raising your eyebrows, which in turn makes the man's face turn into a smile. He removes his glove and shakes your hand with a strong, perhaps too strong grip for addressing you. Don't worry, dog, Vitor McGillicuddy. I ain't gonna blow us up. Nope. Anyway, Vincel told me you'll be staying with us for a while. Better, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, uh, guess so. Well, friend, make yourself at home. Let's see your stock barter. Can I, ha can I have my weapon back? You and Vincel are good pals. Can I have my weapon back? Of course, it's in the, um, yeah. Five mil pistol and some ammo. Five mil? No, nine mil. If I recall correctly, remember, this one, he produces a pistol that is in such bad condition, uh, people would pay to get rid of it. It was a five mil pistol, not that one. Five mil? I'm here with a 44, man. It wasn't a gun at all. It was a machete. A pistol? I had a bloody shotgun. Actually, no. I had a crossbow. Guns are for wussies. All I need is a knife. <laughs> By the way, you can boost the module speed to boost your walking speed. You can set it up in the settings. Okay, I remember t seeing that uh, yes or er, er, Tuesday. So. so, should I stay with... The should I get a pistol? Or should I go with a 44 and persuade him to give me a 44 Magnum? I assume it's a 44 Magnum. You very rarely actually run into 44 regulars. Most modules are 100% are gonna use the 44 Magnum over like a, 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 a 44 regular. Because a 44 special exists, they just very rarely use them. <clears throat> I doubt you have the persuasion for it anyway. You can try to persuade him, probably will fail, and get the regular crystal, well, that's fine. Uh, I came here with a 44 man. What? One of his eyes half closes while the other tenses up. No, seriously, is this your pistol? <laughs> Apparently I do not. Uh, it wasn't a gun at all, it was machete. Pistol? I had a bloody shotgun! Uh, it was a fi it was a 5 mil pistol, but no, not that one. And whose? Oh, this has got to be the New Newton. Got to be Newton's gun. He, my bad, here you go. Hands, he hands you your weapon. There, with that out of the way, may I insist you in a couple more things? Hmm? You and Vincel are good pals. Pals were brothers. I'm sorry, I never mentioned the resem I never noticed the resemblance. Well, the respirators don't exactly help. But, yeah, we're bros. We came to this station together some years ago. When they saw how cool we were, they wouldn't let us leave. He laughs. That's exactly how it went. Fair. Even if even in melee playthroughs, it's better to ask for the gun because it sells for more, and you could trade it for better starting knife or other starting melee. Wow, that's awesome. 
All right. Uh, so we got to figure out how. Uh, hey, hold up a sec. Mind doing me a small favor, Harold? Harland, one of the security guard uh, security officers, has requested an extra auto turret over at the underpassage exit. That and a trainload of ammo, as if he's preparing for a lunker lunker invasion. Did he tell you why he needs all this? Just tell me where to find him. I'll see him in if I get the chance. Did he tell you why? He needs it, but why correct? Cons wait, what? But why constantly? Not that's something I can get out of him. I'll do I'll be darned if he even knows it himself. Harland, he tends to get him paranoid from time to time. I suppose watching over dark hallways nonstop gets to a guy after a while. Then he gets all quacky. Quacky? Quacky? Then you got the side quest? I don't like it as much. Oh, oh no, quacky. Quacky, like a quacker or a, a hopper. Scared, you dig? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll see him if I get get the chance. Just tell me where to find him. There's an entrance to the under to the under passage at the metro station above us. Can't miss it. Go downstairs and you'll find him there. Continue. See if whatever spooked him this time is genuine concern. If so, I'll send him everything he needs. Just that I don't want us hauling all this ordinance back and forth because a couple of thugs or a rat hat. Uh, got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a silenced 5mm hawker? Oh, awesome. I didn't know it was silenced. We already got a silenced pistol? This is a 5mm caliber hawker type handgun. A silencer will make sure almost no noise is emitted when fired, but at the cost of power. Oh, good. Not the power. Um, and then. Uh, was it S? No, Q. Q. Reloading. I love they handed me an unloaded gun. Quakey, not quacky. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. Silence because you have high stealth. Oh, that makes sense then, too. Quakey, quakey. I was like, what does he mean by quacky? What is, do ducks quack a lot when they're scared or something? Shock bolts. I'm guessing this is stealing, by the way, since the hand is red. What's this? Reinforced fabric ballistic panel. Okay, are there rules about... Oh, no, okay, I can save whenever I feel like. Okay, great. Um, you said I have to talk to someone about how trading works? Uh, I cannot manipulate this door. Apparently. Oh, it's a bunch of, like, surveillance equipment. Oh, okay, there's the training room we were in when we did... Oh, so it's just they don't want me to go back into the training room. Got it. <sighs> well, that's nice that they start me with a silenced pistol right off the bat. I mean, me or... Or T12. What? I mean, me or T12. What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean. You might, you might have one of your messages not might have not sent because all you said was, "I mean me or T12." I think you missed a, a message didn't go through. Oh, it's Gorski, a tall, imposing figure that's battle scar scarred veteran towers before you. you. Met Gorski before. He's one of the counselors and I interviewed you when you first arrived. Uh, so you pass all the time. You passed all of Tanner's little tests and exercises. That could not have been easy, but don't think you're some kind of hotshot now. You are yet to deserve the privilege that you've been given. Oh, me or T12, you should you should ask about trading, not an NPC. Oh, okay. Well, if either of you want to explain it. I don't know. Ica, you said you're still driving or something, right? Forward to the opportunity. I understand. Yeah, whatever pops. Oh, he punched me! Did I die? Oh, I thought I died. Apparently he just punched me for being a jerk. I'm sure he'll figure it out. I've seen people cough Zane give away all their money because they didn't get the trading system. Ah, gotcha. You backstalk me like that again, you run and I'll punch your ugly head off and feed it to the rat hound. 
What do you want? I'm here for some target practice. I want nothing from you, jerk face. Oh, I can actually take stuff off of these? Oh, there's nothing in them! Man. Where's my infinite, infinite bullets for all the, the shooting I want to do? Okay, well, let's, before I buy anything, let's at least talk to him. Water, what do you need? Wow, we are talking to him from very far away. Barter. All right, so let's see what we got here. Quilling going to buy four firearms, seven firearm parts, three crossbows, two helmets, four boot components, three melee weapons, two grenades, and one leather armor. I'm also always looking to buy bullets or shells and regular bolts. It is open. It has become opened. So let's see. I know I had $200, which I'm not seeing represented anywhere which is a little concerning okay it looks like this is kind of your so do I have to trade cash okay I would trade cash out of my inventory plus whatever they want got it so there's no buy everything you dump on on them only the ones that list up to the top gotcha so he'll buy you know firearms firearm parts crossbows and the such Makes sense. Insulated anti-rifle vests. Okay, an $8,000 value. Okay. You can put it into the item section, then either manually match the cash value or just press the auto button. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's like, um... Well, it's not exactly one-to-one, -one, but it's it's actually more, more similar to uh, Path of Exile. But there's no such thing as money. You just trade items to get stuff. ISN isn't? What? Them in the item section, then either manually match the cash value, okay? Same goes for buying an item. Then either manually match the cash value. Oh. So wait, does he have cash somewhere? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he does. He has $400. Okay, so he has a limited 400 bucks he can give me straight up. What do you mean by ISN? Is it? Yeah, traders have a cash reserve. Okay, so it's to try to limit your ability to break the economy. Okay, good. They even have like separate uh, uh, tabs. Seven point six two. There's the regular un unsilenced one. Oh, a hammerer and then a hawker actually have different damages, which is interesting, considering they fire the same bullet. I have to keep that in mind that the ammunition is not the primary thing. 5mm Jaguar. 7.62 Jaguar. I guess these are... like an upgrade? I guess just an upgrade? Is that how that works? I mean, I don't... I dropped a walnut on the keyboard. Oh! <laughs> well, that's no problem. Store refreshes every 90 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they have spears, okay. Aluminized balaclava. This is a three-hole balaclava made for, from aluminized cloth that can somewhat reflect the high radiant, radiant loads produced by fire. What? Stealth decreased by 21. Intimidation increased by five. <laughs> oh, it gives you heat and cold resistances? <laughs> okay, very interesting. Cave hopper leather boots, rat hound leather boots. Okay, makes sense. Huh, alright. And then you got your values down there, so obviously I don't have enough to buy anything. Or at least not flat out with just cash. I might be able to trade for something, but that's very good. How much damage does my gun do? 8 to 12, okay. That's that's important to know. So it's definitely the weakest of all the guns, pistols that are available. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, you can wear a tinfoil hat, basically. Extra ammo and maybe one Molotov for an emergency, plus lockpicks would be good. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so you said extra ammo, and we need, I wanna make sure I got this right, five millimeter ammo. Okay, so the ammo falls under 
Oh, it has its own tab. Okay, great. Yeah, see, here's the 44 hollow points and all that jazz. Standard W2C round. Armor piercing cartridge makes it packs a 5mm tungsten carbide bullet. In order, in order, ignores 30% of target's mechanical damage resistance and 65% of the target's mechanical damage threshold. Oh, okay. Standard, and then jack and hollow points. Incurs 150 of mechanical damage resistance and threshold, but the damage that penetrates the armor is increased by 40% against or organic targets. I mean, that'd be good against rat hounds. All right, so probably just get some regular. I don't think we need anything probably too fancy yet. We got 60 rounds plus the lot that we have in the gun right now. The 16, the 16 in the gun. So, what, another 32? How do I split this? Uh, shift. That did not split. Oh, wait, no, why is it not splitting it? Oh, there we go, there we go. That was odd, I don't know why that wasn't working. 32. Oh, okay, and then it just shows their chance to accept down here. So that way you can kind of bargain with them. Ah, makes sense. No consumables. Combat utility. I'm assuming this is where we would find a Molotov. Uh, EMP, frag grenade, and HE grenade. Well, if you're looking for legitimately non-plot, okay, and plot items, tools... HE mine, frag mine, mechanical repair kit. Oh, lockpicks. Okay, lockpicks. Since you're stealthy, you could probably also switch out the Molotov for a few bear traps, too. Although Molotovs are your first enemy's natural weakness, so it'll be good to see it in action. Ah, yeah, he doesn't have any Molotovs. So that's not an option. Unless it's not considered a, a, a combat utility. The closest thing would be the hand, the the HE grenade, the high explosive grenade, I guess. EMP, yeah, no. He doesn't have any kind of thing. He has no fire throwables. He mine. He has regular frag mines, and he has no, he has no uh, bear traps either. Oh, someone else has it. I think Quentin on on Argamy. Okay. You said some lock picks? Uh, yeah, that's fine, actually. Uh, value 57. Uh, I am not going to be able to afford ammo. Ammo is 600... For 32 rounds, is $600. I only have $200. I'm not going to be able to afford ammo. I have no money. I mean, I'll, I'll get the auto. Okay, so that just applies the six bucks. Wait. Oh. Oh, I have $2,000. Why would they do that? Why would it say 200, but that equates to 2,000 in value? What? Okay, well that explains a couple of things, and then don't it. Why would they do that to me? Alright, so there we go. That's actually much better. Why? Why would you do that? Why make it confusing? Alright, so I, get, I think we're good then. We'll get two extra magazines worth of ammo and two lockpicks and then we'll go buy some bear traps. There are different currencies. Oh, is that how it works out then? So I have 133 of these, but it has a value of 1300 Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Ah. Alright, so we should be... We, we should be willing to accept this, yes? Trade? Okay. Great. A couple extra magazines worth of, of bullet. We have a couple extra magazines of bullet. What's this? Uh, talk to Harland about his request for... For... Request for and extra auto turret. I guess that's a typo? 
For in extra or and extra, auto turret and more ammunition. Extra for in extra. He can reach by going to the S SGS Metro station and entering the under passage from there. Talk to Counselor Tanner in his office in the comms. I don't like that Lost is not camera movement. Some of them rather uncon unconventional. I expect nothing less from this module than a lot of unconventional stuff. If I'm being honest with you. Worry about the side quest later? Okay. If you say so. Ooh, is that a vending machine? Oh, I can't interact with a vending machine? Okay, we got a lab over here. Let's go in the lab. Why, hello there. There's Quentin and Botanist. You don't get a name. You go up to a ran... Up to a... Rangy? Rangy? Rangy man with long hair who is cutting open the head of a large, monstrous creature. Formerly an untamable beast, it is now but a stiff volunteer to postmortem dissection. To science, and soon enough, the man makes the final incision, after which he pushes his hand through to extract a single long, sharp spine. Greenish, sticky fluid dri dribbles out of the opening and all over the floor as the man wipes the spine clean before laying it aside, and that is the moment in which he notices you. <laughs> Look, there are no bottle caps, okay? That's fine. I just... I wanted to understand why they had such a bizarre... Uh, it felt misrepresentative to me. Like, I was very broke, and then suddenly it turns out I wasn't that broke? Careful. You don't want to get in contact with its toxins. Continue. He returns to cutting through the creature as he talks to you. My name is Quentin. Don't bother introducing yourself. I know who you are. You're Dogbiter McGillicuddy, and just, and just got admitted to the, the station. I take your hand, but you can see why that wouldn't be a good idea. What kind of creature is that? It's a burrower. It's one nasty creature that digs around, laying eggs all over the place. There are more numerous deeper underground, but you can still find a few ro roaming the lower under rail and the surrounding caves. If you meet one, be careful. It will sp spit tick hard, oh, thick hard spines at you that are coated with poison. Look. Bugs are a menace in this module. Look, under rail just does things different. I understand that. I believe you. I'm collecting its poison glands so we can use these to produce other chemicals or to coat crossbow bolts. Uh, what's in that room over there? We're growing mushrooms of different kinds there. Of course, most notably the mine shrooms. These are the most po potent and certainly one of the safest psionic catalysts. The largely popular psi boosters are made from mine shrooms, in case you didn't know. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Oh, okay. What creature is that? Okay. Anything to trade? He stops working, gets, sets the knife aside, and carefully removes his gloves. Of course! Barter! Alright, raw cash, of course. Um, no gun, or no gear. Combat. Ah, he does have the Molotov cocktails. Shrooms, yes. Always popular with the underground lot, lot the shrooms. Tranquilizing bolts? Oh god, tell me there's a whole side story where we can just hunt things down and bring them back alive, Monster Hunter style. Molotov cocktails, you say? <clears throat> uh, everyone caught in the blast effects. A blast suffers 35 to 50 heat damage and has a 50% chance to catch fire, yes. Suffering an additional 150% of the original damage over three turns. The fuel from the cocktail sets the ground on fire. Creatures standing in the fire suffer heat damage equal to 6 to 50% of their maximal health. Creatures standing in the fire suffer heat damage equal to 16, 6 to 15% of their mini, maximal health. Up to a maximum of 6 to 40. Plus an additional 7 to 9 depending on the intensity of the fire at that spot. While creatures moving through the fire suffer one third of that damage per time. That is a unique breakdown system, but it actually makes sense to me. I don't know about the percentage of their maximal health, but that's kind of interesting. Kind of, but with dog crates? Oh, okay, so you can actually go capture things alive and bring them back for cash? Well, that's fun. Alright, so what, two of these? 
That's got a that's a five hundred and seventy dollar value. I can't afford all of them either way, but I could get another one, I guess. I think two seems fine. I wouldn't say for cash, but yeah. Well, to make a living, to make a profit. How about that? To make a profit. Okay, this guy also wants three raw leather, six organs, four special bolts, four chemicals, and one blueprint. Wait, this is a... Wait, what? Oh, chemical weapons. Got it, got it. Consumables. Psi booster. Morphine shot. Uses reduced damage taken from all sources by 50% for three turns. After the effect expires, the character takes damage equal to 50% of their missing health. Oh, interesting. Okay. Psionic implant. It's a one-time use inhaler containing a moderate dose of desaturated psionic Im imolent. Inhalant. Inhalant. This is the most common way of restoring one's psychic reserves. And an antidote. Learn how to make our own stuff. Extract humor. Gains instruction on how to extract blood, toxins, acid, and other substances from organs of various creatures. Ooh, okay. Gas grenade, incendiary grenade, leather armor, processed plant or fungus, psi booster. Okay, so this is all the stuff if we wanted to make our own thing. Ooh, magnesium powder for that uh, that deep burning sensation in other people you want to have make happen. Uh, tools. Patching kits. Okay. Fair. You're better off looking for some crazy humans to murder hobo. Oh. Funny that you can put all kinds of things into the dog crates with the exception of dogs. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. Is it actually called a dog crate or is it just called, like, a capture crate? Because if it's called a dog crate and you can't actually put any dogs in it, that sounds exactly like what Under Rail is about. That sounds exactly what Under Rail is about, is if you if you have a dog crate and you can't put dogs in it. All right, we're going to get these two Molotovs and get moving. Check, check the storage on this level. Okay. Um, shelves. It has an animal fur in it. Ooh, this has a crossbow in it. I mean, it's stealing, but... Shells. What's this? A uh, capsule. A sterile hard shell capsule. Oh, for making our own drugs. Our own drugs, you see. Where, where would storage be? Light switch, light switch. Oh, over here, maybe? Oh, I don't even get in trouble for going over here. Save often, by the way. Oh, is this one of those ones where, like, I'm going to be getting ambushed a lot? Um, uh, like, we'll just, like, A1. I don't want to overthink it too much. Big Brett. There's some fridges. It's a pig. Oh, they make the same noise as, uh... As Lord Pukey, or not Lord Pukey, um... Oh god, the big blobby thing from Earthbound. I can't remember what his name is now. It must be Dogbound McGillicuddy. They call me Big Brett. You, so you pass all the tests, I see. Couldn't have been easy. Those were just getting harder and harder in recent years. They were pretty hard by life challenge. Just really glad I made it. I think we're just the right difficulty. You wouldn't want just anyone here, right? It was a breeze. They could have at least given me a day off. I've been running their tests for weeks. I think if there's the right difficulty, you wouldn't want just anyone right here, right? You're right. Indeed, we don't. So anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, what is this place? This is an ordinary sector where we grow and harvest all kinds of plants. We also breed animals for food. In short, our job is to provide food to the station in any way possible. Cool. What do you got? Ah, here's the bear traps. Here they are. Snort, says the pig. <laughs> it's kind of like a kid's book, right? What does the cow say? Moo. What does the pig say? Snort. What does the 1980s executive say? Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Hopper trap. A simple mechan mechanical trap designed to ensnare small animals such as cave hoppers. Place a mechanical trap that deals no damage, but can trap small, low-strength animals for up to five turns. Ah. Oh, here's the dog crates. Yeah. 
Use to contain and transport small animals. Attempt to capture the target inside the crate. It only works on certain small, non-hostile creatures. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Hopper trap is useless. Oh, okay. Now more tranquilizing bolts. We have throwing nets. Oh my god. Throw the net at the target in an attempt to immobilize it for up to two turns, depending on the depending on the target's strength. AP 10 cooldown four turns. Nice. Throwing that blueprint. Combat gloves. Contain detailed instruction on how to create all types of combat gloves. To your wrist pad. Didn't even know we had one of those. Boots. Contain instruction on how to create a pair of military style boots. And a hundred, uh, a thousand value. Nets are super good, especially if you pair it with bear traps in a doorway. <laughs> Place a mechanical bear trap that deals 30 to 5 to 40 phys mechanical damage instantly. Applies a bleeding wound that deals additional 100% of the initial damage over 3 turns. And roots the victim in place for 3 turns. Wow, that does sound good. Now the question is, is this reusable or is it a one-time thing? That sounds pretty good. Uh, mobilizes it for 2 turns. See, it's doing the thing again where I'm holding shift. It's really odd. I'll be taking two of your bear traps, good sir. Um, one time, but it wasn't stepped on, you can pick it back up. One time, but if it wasn't stepped on, you can pick it back up. At trap zero, everyone will be able to see it, but in combat, they can't disarm it. Ah, gotcha. Apparently, I'm giving him a slight... Yes, I'm giving him a slight amount of extra of cash. Which I find quite funny, but... Uh, that's, that's probably fine. Alright, so we have... Two bear traps, two Molotov cocktails, two lock picks, 92 bullets, three flares, three hypo needles, five bandages, and two hacker tools. Oh, mechanical repair kits for our gun. So I'd say we're pretty well set for at least a small encounter with like a single like thing, probably. Last thing you'll need is a hacking. Ah, so that's probably going to be something else. Oh, we shut the door. Why are the lights all off? I don't understand. Let's see what we got. Oh, can I... Wait, is this stuff free? Can I just take this stuff? It's there's. It's not saying it's stealing. I, can just, I think Quest also directs you to medical. Also a talk with Tanner first, though. But yeah. Yeah, you can. Nice. So we're getting some hopper traps and some dog crates. Oh, nothing in that. More flares, of course, of course. What's in the barrel? It's an ampule, a sterile ampule for making our own drugs, again. More drugs. It's for a quest so he won't become hostile even if it's red. Also the crossbow in a locker behind Quentin is free, just save just in case. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it says it's for a quest so he won't become hostile even if it's red. Oh, okay. About to say, yeah, that locker is red, so I'll save. Uh, I'll just override this one, I think. Alright, save. Saving. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's not upset about it. So that's good. Hey, can I talk to the botanist? Also took care of the mushrooms in the room over there. That is off limits, by the way. Okay, thank you, thank you for warning me. Yeah, there's a vending machine here, but I can't seem to actually use it. Locked. Drugs are good for you. I fully ex expecting him to... I was fully expecting him to be mad. Nope, he didn't actually get mad at me. Oddly enough, um, so I'm, what, engineering to get a, um, a hacker tool, probably? If I had to guess? And I do? Oh, that's stealing. 
go in here. Najid. Not. Yeah, I'm going with Najid. Can't talk, friend. Got to get this uh, expansion done. Oh, you gotta work. You're working on the expansion. Ezra. As he turns around to face you, you immediately notice there's something off with this man. His face is pale and hairless. He's missing one of his eyes, and instead, wires protrude from his eye socket, traveling over to the side of his face and disappearing down the back of his neck. The other eye is almost colorless, with the pupil so contracted that you can question whether he can see at all. Oof. Later on, once your stealth is high enough, you can get start stealing poppies and selling them from the room south of Quentin. Okay. Speak with a calm and even voice. Hello, Dogbiter McGillicuddy. I'm Ezra. I act as the head network administrator and chief of the entire engineering sector. Uh, what exactly is it you do here? Me, specifically the cyber department or the engineering sector. Cyber department? We maintain and improve this station's in intro internal network. We write programs for all automated systems at the station. What does the engineering section do? We construct, deconstruct, research, upgrade. Listing all the specific things we, we do would take too much of a time. Go around and talk to people working here. They might be willing to let you know the details of their projects. Uh, what do you do specifically? I make sure all the parts of the station's internal number. Okay, continue. How about something else? Ezra is a really nice guy and your best ally. Oh, okay. They're actually worth a fair bit, especially once turned into morphine if you have biology points. We did not put any points in any of that stuff, so... Are you blind, Ezra? Ezra raises his hand slowly and extends it towards you. He holds two of his fingers in front of your face for a moment, each pointing at one of your eyes before retracting the hand. <laughs> so what, he pretended to poke us in the face? Also, not creepy at all. I mean, that just sounded wacky. Uh, do you have anything to trade? He does. Okay, here's got to be some hacker tools. Yeah. Hacks are Mach 1 and 2. I got $600 left. Attempt to hack a computer device while interest increasing your hacking skill by 5 can be used to disable electronic clocks. It consumes 10 energy when you're effect with your effective hacking skill... You could disable a lock of up to 20 difficulty rating with this device. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice of them to denote that. Micro electron, electro shock discharger. It can be used to create special shock bolts. Plasma cores. Adaptive goggles. Perception increased by one. Dodge decreased by 25. EMP grenades, supercharged lithium cells. Pinnacle of lithium energy storage technology. This cell discharges energy many orders of magnitude faster than a conventional lithium ion battery, but cannot be recharged. Ah, gotcha. Thought control module. This module, this mod modular, wait, this psionic modular is designed specifically to enhance the wearer's thought control psionics. Temporal. Oh, okay. Temporal manipulation. Headbag frame. Frame when combined with a psionic modular. Enhance the wearer's psionic abilities. Adaptive lenses. The standard auto-adaptive lens that enhances mid to long range visions of an eye. Okay, so this must be some, like, building material. Energy pistol frame. Scope. Plasma cores. I can use this headband. Seeker goggles. This will contain a pair of seeker lenses. Dodge decreased by 25%. Critical chance of ranged weapons increased by 5. Interesting. Another compass. Alright, so we probably just need one of these. Probably just need one of these uh, hacker tools. And with nothing to hide. Uh, sure. Chemistry and biology the easiest crafting skills to do compared to the other crafting skills. Okay. For the others, the necessary skill value fluctuations so vast on the vast majority of recipes, while for those the skill value needed is static, so it's a lot easier to do. Gotcha. Lock pick mark two. And Cave Ear Poison Bear Trap. A simple mechanical trap designed to wound and snare the victim as 
as if the excruciating pain of having your foot caught in one of these was enough. The metal dolls have also been coated with cave cave ear poison. The trap also affects the target with cave ear poison and increases all biological damage taken by 50% and reduces perception by five. Lasts up to five turns. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, required, re required skill is 30. You have to know how to put it down so that you don't hurt yourself with it, I guess, right? Alright, so we'll get one of these uh, hacker tools. Seems like we only really need one, so... Okay. Uh, auto. And it'll leave us with seven, $170 left, just enough to buy a hot dog. Yeah, he seems like a very interesting fellow, uh, Ezra. Alright, well, we'll get a hacker tool. Sweet. So we got some free stuff, plenty of uh, mechanical equipment, bullets, nets, and bear traps. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, I would think. Alright. What do we got going on in here? Dwayne, talk to Ezra if you need something important. I don't. Thank you. Just the same. Okay, cool. No, oh, I can go in here. Locked hacking 30. I can't get that high. I almost had a really good excuse for using a bear trap in our D&D session last time. So close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. You were pretty close. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Bunch of stuff I can't have. It's Harold. Howdy, you must be the new guy. Name's Harold. Oh, I'm in charge of this uh, workshop here. Nice to meet you, I'm Harold. Name's Doug Leiter McGillicuddy. So, you looking for something specific or just looking around? Do uh, you have any stuff to trade? I got plenty, take a look. Okay, some more mechanical stuff. Wait, crossbow part hurricane with an appropriate blueprint. These parts can be used to create a hurricane type crossbow. Oh, okay. So this is the guy with, like, parts for guns and making bullets and stuff. A knife handle? Okay. I love it's that simple. It's just a blade and a knife handle, right? Blueprints for, like, combat knives, cowl traps. Hello there. Why, hello there. Serrated. Okay, good, 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 good. Obi-Wan, the hello there with a Z770. Welcome, Z70. 770. And we actually got, I actually got the little note saying that that went off this time. That's good. Throwing knives. Throwing knives might be interesting because we do have a good throwing skill, right? Cal traps and serrated bolt. Alright. Cool. And, and random engineer. There's some bots with this designed AI core slots, but those are hard to find. But Z70, 770, how you doing? Miss much? Not really. We've just kind of been exploring the starting base. Um, trying to kind of get a, an idea for what's going on and where we can buy stuff. We bought some equipment. Um, what's this? Rubber ball. A bunch of hard rubber balls. I, okay. Free stuff is free stuff, darn it. Also, uh, uh, centerfold thing? Throwing knives aren't too great unless you're super specced for it. Oh, better to put different combat utilities instead. Gotcha. That's Gorin. Hey, man. Want to watch the arena? I don't know what that means. I don't know what an arena is. In the context of this module, anyway. Yeah, we bought some stuff. Is that 770? Hacker tools, molotovs, bear traps... Uh, extra bullets, some uh, lock picks, hacker tool. We got some free stuff too. We got a free hand crossbow. Have you equipped your Molotov? I have not equipped the Molotov. Does that go here? Or does that go. goes up there. Okay. Mortal Kombat Arena, I guess I can guess by it. Yeah, I would think it would be some kind of battle arena like that. Molotovs are now equipped. Arena is a place where filthy pipe workers get dominated hardcore. Oh, God. 
He had to, that's the best worst way to describe that. Um okay, so I guess we can just go to the comms thing then. I don't think I really need anything else. Phrasing. <laughs> Live on the tri monitors. Why why? 100% accurate too. I believe it. All right, I guess we'll just go up to comms and talk to the person we need to get the quest from. Let's see. Ooh, I can actually have stuff. What's over here? Nothing? Lame. Weak. Let's see. Oh, there's Vinsel. Is that a cat? Yes, it's a cat. Better to die in a blaze of glory than get mugged by pipe workers in the drop zone. Oh, God. We got a lot of commoners. How's Vensel doing? Hey, dog biter. Commoner, worker, security guard. What's up? Ethan. Before you is a handsome young man whose attire portrays him as someone who prefers charm over harm. Whether he looks deceived or not, though, is a question that has yet to be answered. In his hand, a glass of fizzy water. He calmly addresses you. May I help you? Uh, who are you? Who wants to know? I'm just a newly admitted resident of the Southgate station. Just a newly admitted new person. Good, good. What can I do for you? Anything interesting going on? Not much. Unfortunately, the cave-in has us all trapped in here. So like a lot of the people, I'm waiting for the tracks to get cleared before I can move on. It's not much of a problem. I've always liked this place. So you're the traveling type. Takes a sip of his fizzy water. Yeah, let's just say I travel a lot. Uh, why are you drinking fizzy water? Water is the best drink. The fizzy simply makes it a bit more interesting. Cool, cool, cool. I have to go now. Nothing suspicious about that guy. <laughs> no, not a little bit. Travel, hey barkeep, hand, hand me beer and you'll let it fall. What? Travel. Hey barkeep, hand me beer and let it f and you let it fall. I don't know the reference. Worker, worker, commoner. Arlene. You mean Arlene during your testing period? She's in charge of food preparation and rationing. Hey, we used to, we used to make fun of Tanner's stupidity high stupidly high standards when meeting new people. Not the end of the world if we got someone imperfect. We said, and here we are. Bring bring uh, us earthquakes on day one. Very funny, Arlene. Tanner's kind of hidden in the southern corner. That's his office? Okay. But yeah, that guy, that, that, this guy is super suspicious, right? I was only kidding, don't take it too seriously. Anyway, what do you need? Uh, who's that dandy over there? Over there? That's Ethan Lanford. You can tell me about him. He's a handsome man? He <laughs> comes to the SGS from time to time, always dressed as sharp as a razor. He's always flirting with the ladies, no exceptions. I've seen him entertain quite a number, well, myself included, with some unusual psionic tricks. Tricks? Well, he's a, what you call it, a, a temporal manipulator. It's one of those psi abilities, disciplines, what you call it. The thing he does, I've never seen anyone else do before. He can manipulate time, but only for the specific objects, like sewing down a fly so it moves its wings in slow motion, or making things hover in the air, that sort of stuff. Oh, that's what you're talking about, Z770. That was from some 2D... From some 2D click and point story mod... Story module from Cowboy. Oh, okay, gotcha. But he could, I guess, make it fall and then, like, keep it in the air. There's a more suspicious guy in the northwest corner. Yeah, I'm seeing this guy in the trench coat. He was looking a little weird, too. It's all parlor tricks. Fun and unusual. Good to attract the ladies. He... He... His good looks and charms make them stick around, though. That's his real magic. Hmm. Anything else about him? Where he's from? What he does? Not much. He's talkative, but reveals little about himself when you think about it. No one knows where he's from or what he does. He usually comes al alone. Maybe leaves with a girl. Maybe not. Depends. Always drinks fizzy water. Yes. Has that temporal manipulation thing going on for him. And that's all I know. Really. Oh, yeah. Dresses as, sh as sharp as... Oh, wait. I said that already. Thank you. Uh, so have, how bad was it, the earthquake? For us, not that bad. The south tunnel collapsed, so the train is out for a while. The station itself didn't suffer any major damage, as far as I know. 
I heard it's much worth up north. Something about a Union's freighter crashing and getting buried on a side rail near Core City. Man, I can already imagine all the vermin crawling out of their holes to take a bite of that cake. And I... I'm not talking about rat hounds. Uh... If you're a woman, he'll sell you a temporal spells for cheaper. Wow, okay. Also try getting under the pants as well. But yeah, I could see that on him. I could see that. Uh, besides the earthquake, what else is going on? Gorski's gathering up his squad. Don't know what they're up to, but they're they're armed. Heard any good rumors? There's been very little pirate activity lately. The block the Black Hills seem to be doing a, a darn fine job. Order? Mostly food stuffs, I'm guessing. Stuffed bat. Fruit soda. Non-alcoholic, sweet-tasting beverage. Rat hound barbecue. Psy beetle brain soup. Mushroom brew, eel sandwich, cave hopper steak. Canned stew. Canned mushroom, canned fish. A burrower burger. Detoxicated grilled burr meat and root bread. <laughs> yeah, root bread with mushroom sauce. Huh. Yeah, we got underground pirates on the underground seas, too. Well, I mean, they're they're bandits, probably more than pirates, but yeah. Bad stuff with three kinds of mushrooms and a mixture of seeds. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, she just has food. Insert generic food. Jack Quicksilver, huh? I'm going to save before I talk to you, because I feel like something bad could be happening any second. No, they're pirates. Oh, they're actual honest to god underground underground water pirates, huh? I haven't seen you around here before. Are you stuck in this hole now as well? Who wants to know? Don't answer a question with a question, it's irritating. Name's Jack Quicksilver. Who who are you? My name is Dogbiter McGillicuddy. Just nods and confirmation. Uh, what do you do for a living? Are you a trader? Among other things, yeah. Are you looking to barter? Show me what you got. Some guns. Well, he's got some crossbows, hacking stuff. Ooh, a grenade. A couple of knives. Get some leather gloves that do damage? What? I guess if I punch stuff? Bypasses 80% of target's energy shield. Incurs 140% of mechanical damage, resistance, and threshold. Damage increased by 5% for every point in strength above 5. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess it's just to help to punch better. Pig leather armor. Cave hopper leather overcoat. Oh, nice. We can get one of the jackets like he's got. Oh, a... a uh, Stingen, Stygen, 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 Steve, Steve. I know this word. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Stygen? This light stainless, stainless super steel coin is engraved with an image of, of Sharon, the mythic S Stygian. Stygian coin, Stygian. Stygian ferryman. It's the most common currency in the southern, south underworld because its value is derived directly from the value of the metal it's made from, made of. God. Jack is a stand-up guy. Okay. I mean, he seems okay so far. Their captain has a pirate, enough said. Yeah. Yeah, it's Charon. The old, the old Charon him, themselves has returned. The way you said it, you made it sound German. Oh, what, the, the Stygian? The Stygian coins? Or Sharon. Sharon's a friend of ours. Words, yeah. Okay, Stygian. I I knew that I'm seeing that word and I've heard it pronounced and I had to really think about it. It took a second. Indeed, yeah. Stygian. All right. Yeah, nothing I need, but good to know he's here with some stuff. If I need to get like a grenade. Um. Okay. Anything else? Where are you from, Jack? Not a citizen of any place, if that's what you're asking. I travel around a lot, but when I'm not on a train, I spend most of my time in Core City. I brought you here in the first place. A lucrative business opportunity, but it slipped past me, unfortunately. Dun, 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 dun. Words. Words. What happened with the, that business opportunity? 
It's a business secret. If you're interested in doing some work, though, there's something I can arrange. Ooh. Ooh, secrets. What kind of work? Pack delivery. I'll pay you an SGS credits, 100 pieces. You interested? Uh, yeah, tell me the details. You better get closer. You know where the GMS warehouse block is? No? Never mind then. Can't risk you getting lost with the package. Oh no! <laughs> There's another side quest for later, but we can do it while doing a main quest. Okay. Blurp, favorite tab is, is destroyed itself. Oh no. Say yes. Okay. Yeah, tell me the details. Yes? First go to <laughs> I love that though. Hey, do you know where this place is? No. Oh, uh, I, I can't do business with you. Oh, all right. Hey, how's it going? Good. You know that thing? Yeah, I do know where that is. Cool, let's do business then. Like, what? Yeah, just just lie to his face, yeah. First, go to the barracks at the station platform here in SGS. This key will open one of the foot lockers, and the package will be inside. He hands you the key. Take the package to the warehouse block to the building just south of GMS compound. A man will be waiting for the package there, and you'll get your money. All right. We will not speak of this again until the job is done in the dialogue. Okay. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to bring this up. Wait, I guess it won't go away. Um, oh, okay, my hacking and lockpicking are both at 15. I thought they were only at 10. I, I keep forgetting that WAST isn't a thing. Again, with the vending machines, you can't actually, oh, there's the cat. We gotta go pet the cat, right? This cat is freaking out. Okay, we won't pet the cat. We won't pet the cat, then fine. I don't want to pet your stupid cat anyway, module. What do we got going on? Oh, wow, that is a large bathroom. Dang, okay. Like, a shower and stuff? That's actually kind of impressive. Okay, cool. You can put cats in dog crates? I mean, that just seems wrong. Wait, free stuff in the barrel? Aw, oh, boo. Nothing. It's dark in here. Let me hit the light switch. I was hoping maybe if I turned the lights on, I would notice something, but no. Oh, there's Hadron. There's Tanner himself. You had mentioned that like light makes has an effect on things, so oh, and a crowbar? What? 12.7 millimeter standard round, okay. Okay, they're both empty. Got it. Set trap on seat? Noise? Yeah, we got a free crowbar. There's a small bathroom compared to the drop zone. Oh. Well, I mean, if it's an honest-to-god actual arena, yeah, it would make sense that it would need a really huge bathroom. Yeah, light boost accuracy also makes you more visible in stealth. That makes sense, actually. In the grand scheme of thing, that, that makes sense to me. You know what I realized I could do? I can actually dual wield, right? So now I have a crowbar and a gun? <laughs> Every desire to break things? Oh wait, I'm allowed back here in the kitchen? Really? This isn't stealing? I could just have this copper meat? Dang, that seems messed up, yo. Can I give the hopper meat to the cat? There's nothing back here? Okay, the kitchen cabinets are stealing. No kitchen for you. It's so loud. Why is it so loud? Deus Exile looting? Yeah, 100%. Anything that says isn't stealing, you just take it. It doesn't matter if it's effective. Oh wait, there is another box in here. Gosh darn it. 
I thought there was, but it didn't look like it was indicating the other box. Fudge. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Lock myself in the storage closet. That's how we're going to play this out. For the next 36 hours, we're living inside the storage closet. That's all we're going to be doing, team. <laughs> Hopper me just sucks that much. Oh god. That that's gotta be miserable. Alright, let's let's uh talk to the tanner. Since everything went okay, I'm gonna overwrite this one. Tanner. The man behind the desk is Hadron Tanner, the counselor who admitted you in the Southgate station. During your first encounter with him, he struck you as an unusual looking individual. Sitting aside his impressive strict stature, one finds it difficult not to notice how his thick, bushy hair and beard envelop most of his head. That, in addition to his opaque glasses covering his eyes, which you've never noticed him without, means that you can see very little of his face and its expressions. His somewhat dirty scavenger outfit, which he wore earlier as well, clashes with the cleanly clean, firmly finished office, suggesting that Tanner probably does not, does most of his work in the field. One time I almost trapped an entire warehouse in a storage unit, but the module broke. <laughs> That's awesome. As soon as he finishes typing, he raises his head and reaches out to shake your hand. His big hand, tucked into a dark brown glove, makes yours seem like, a, like that of a child in comparison. And you especially feel his large fingers to be twice as thick as yours. Weird? His deep voice feels distant and calming when he addresses you. Congratulations once again, Dog Biter McGillicuddy, and welcome to our small community. You're, you scored very well on our tests, no small feat that. I'm sure you'll turn out to be valuable and a respected citizen. More importantly, oh boy, what a misstatement. For evil foreshadowing? But more importantly, I hope you'll find peace and kinship here, which are so hard to come by in the the chaos surrounding us. Try my best not to disappoint. I have yet to get to know other South South Gators, but I have a good feeling I'll fit in with the rest of the crowd pretty well. Uh, I don't know much, but I'm sure I'll fit in. He nods. I believe so too. People from many different backgrounds reside in this station. Whatever your interest may be, I'm sure you'll find someone who shares them here. Okay. I hope the earthquake didn't disturb you much and you were able to rest a bit from all the testing. For you have much work to do today. Events have transpired that require your attention and are, are you ready for some field work? Heck yeah, do I get to shoot stuff? Ready and able, so what's up? As ready as I'll ever be, what's the plan? How much damage did the earthquake cause? Uh, how much damage? Not much damage to the station itself. There were no casualties, fortunately. Regardless, the railroad tunnel has caved in, so we're cut off until the rubble has been cleared up. It is nothing that you should be concerning yourself with at this point in time. Now back to the business at hand. I've done that with the real players in a Gary's, Gary's Mod module once. It was quite funny. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Gary's Mod sounds like an absolute, absolute time. It could come in handy. Now, field work? Down in the tunnels below our station, just to the north of Crossroad Cave, lies a series of abandoned outposts. These outposts were built by another station a long while ago for the purposes of scouting and defense. In time, they fell to decay. I want you to retake them so that they might once again serve their, the, the same purpose. However, however, in order to do so, you'll need to activate the main power generator that's located inside one of them. Harold from the engineering sector thinks he knows how to get the generator operational, so he should be your first st stop after we're done here. As far as I'm aware, there are a total of five outposts plus the one with the generator. I don't know if it's possible to activate all of them, but, they, but try to activate at least three. You may also want to talk to Jones at the Crossroad Watch Post. It's down in the tunnels just outside the station. He'll be passing through there anyway. He's one of our most experienced scavengers, and he's probably seen more of South Underrail than any of us here. He'll surely have some useful advice for you. How well is this task credited? Why are you retaking these outposts? Why are you retaking them? It is an important strategic position should certain factions attempt to encroach further into our zone of control. Besides, Clearing, cleaning them out will also push some of the unwanted wildlife further away from SGS, so it's also beneficial in that regard. Wildlife? I understand a few packs of the Rad Hounds moved into the area, but your best Dr. Jonas Jones regarding that, he'll have more details. He knows the area inside and out. All right.
right, I'll be off then. Oh, and one more thing before you go. The Squall, our station's chief physician, wanted to see you. So you should probably pop down to his office in the medical sector when you have the time. Got it. See you later. Okay. There's this mode called Jailbreak. Prisoners start in cells. No, follow guards' orders while trying to escape and kill all guards. Lock the guards in the cells when they were looking for me. Nice. Awesome. Got a box full of depression here. Box full of depression? No, we have a box full of guards. So, sounds like we need to go to medical. Back to medical and psionics to talk to somebody. Ooh, I can go into this. Or not! I can go in there if I have 90 hacking, which is not going to be anytime soon. Oh yeah, let's get shredded. What's your macro? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Oh, can I go punch stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we couldn't... We couldn't hit the heavy bag with a, with a crowbar. <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing. Turns out, uh, <laughs> fighting is not our strong point when it comes to uh, melee. Might wear out the tools. Oh, I guess that's true. Do they have a, a thing? Force ventilation shaft. Special abilities. Force open a ventilation shaft. It won't be able to close afterwards. This will require a certain amount of strength depending on the targeted ventilation shaft. Damage increased by 3% for every point in strength above 6. Impact speed very low. Base action points 18. Range melee. And it can be used as a weapon in a pinch. Ah, okay. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't mention a durability on it, but... I mean, there's probably a good chance there is one. Okay. Eh. The crowbar is useless. Unless you're 100% dumping all lockpicking. Gotcha, gotcha. So... Okay, so you said there's a cabinet with free drugs in it? It's a random surgeon. There's a footlocker. I don't think that's the one we're looking for, though. If you want to buy something, talk to Pesqual. I'm busy. Or doing a massacre. Mazik is a challenge one where it's your it's your weapon. Ah, okay. So it's not like a, a Gordon Freeman style crowbar where you can like one shot stuff. Oh, that guy looks messed up. Footlocker. Nothing in the footlockers. Ooh, medical locker. Nice. Take that. All empty. Weak. Shells are stilling. All right, cool. We got some drugs. That's cool. Ah, oh, hello, Dogbiter McGillicuddy. First of all, let me congratulate you on your admission admittance to our little station. I'm sure you'll love it here. Continue. It's good that you came. I actually want to talk to you about some of the results from all the tests we did earlier. Is there something wrong with me? No, 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 quite the contrary. Sorry if I scared you. You see, test results show that you have a certain amount of psionic potential. I'm not derailed? What? You mean I can, like, read people's minds? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you put a bomb on it, you could one-shot. Yeah, also, if you just... If you're just that strong and the enemy is just that weak. Derailed the slang. <laughs> I'm not derailed. I'm not saying you are. It's not a bad thing or the contrary. It's a great gift to the inherit. But it won't make you... I mean, it doesn't have to turn you insane. Allow me to explain what psionic potential really is. It's relatively rare and inher inheritable. 
complex genetic trait that triggers development of certain otherwise latent com components in the brain. Allows a person to perform some subtle psionic incavations. In incavations? Such as influencing the minds of others, as well as some not so subtle ones, such as causing radical temperature changes and telekinetic manipulations. How did this genetic trait come to me? No one's really sure. Research indicated that it's relatively recent genetic mutation, but it sure could have sure could not have been a random one. So many things about it are just too complex and convenient to be anything but artificially designed. There are problems with this hypothesis, though. Former BioCorp's head of genetic research, Dr. Hal Roach, outlined these problems best in his thesis. I won't read the details, but the essence of the problem is that with the technology that we are currently we have at our disposal, creating, testing, and integrating a genetic structures of such complexity is simply not possible without a colossal amount of trial and error work. So much trial and error work, Roach argued, that even if you combine all the genetic processes, processors in the world in his time and let them work on the subject for the entire time of their existence, they would still be extremely unlikely to produce these results. Furthermore, Roach points out that the structure of the brain where innervation that allows psionic ability takes place were never studied in such depth. Even though we know plenty about how the brain as a whole works, there's a large gap between the top... In the top... Hold on. What is going on in my mouth? There's a large gap between the top top down research performed by psychologists and neurologists and bottom up research done by neuroscientists studying neurons and receptors. Inside that gap lies psionics, but due to the brain's nature and complexity, those who wish to study it need to start from either of those directions and slowly approach the middle. So you see, it's a bit of a mystery. We know much more about how to make it work than how it actually works. Interesting. Indeed it is. Is there something else you want to know? How do I realize the potential? All this sounds disturbing. I don't want any psionic mumbo chumbo going on in my head. Okay, this sounds like it has potential. Derail the slang cave wizardry. You must first disable your psionic inhibitor. It's a neural structure in your brain that prevents you from <laughs> innervating or accessing your psionic projection centers. You assume it was designed to prevent the infants from unwillingly harming themselves or those around them. There are ways to perform this inner innervation by deep extended meditation. This can take years and years. We have more efficient methods nowadays. He reaches into his pocket, then opens his hand before you. You see a large red pill. It'll take care of the inhibitor right away, but there is one side effect I'm obliged to mention. The majority of users experience immediate and significant weakening of their immune systems. And when I say majority, I mean everyone. To put it bluntly, it will severely affect your health. Therefore, the choice is yours. Is the process dangerous? Painful? Do I need to prepare somehow? Take the pill and swallow it. Forget it, Doc. I'm going... I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Um, is the process dangerous? Painful? Do I need to prepare my, prepare somehow? Uh, is the process dangerous? No, 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 not at all. Well, maybe a bit dangerous for some, but it doesn't hurt at all. Much. You might get a bit woozy, but that's it. Do I need to prepare somehow? No, just go ahead and swallow it. Um, what if I do it the old-fashioned way? Well, I'm, okay, we gotta see what happens. We're gonna, we're gonna say the old-fashioned way, because we don't want to do cave wizardry, right? Like, we don't want to do this because that's not what this character is about, right? Forgot I'll do it the old-fashioned way. He sighs. It's your time to waste. I can't help you with that, though. I'm a doctor, not a monk. Uh, come to me if you change your mind. Uh, I understood, Doc. You can't do it the old-fashioned way? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It's just saying no, basically. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's. What do you have to trade? A vigorous belt. Fortitude increased by 15. Health increased by 30. Agility decreased by 2. A paramedical device which imp improves muscle recovery rate and... Aero... What? Aero... Auroric? Nope. Aerobic energy system efficiency through use of pulsated electromagnetic fields is also reduced, re reputed to improve performance of other bodily functions. But this is under dispute. The belt is very unwieldy, though. Interesting. Okay, so you can just buy, like, 
Up, uh, you can just buy magical items, basically. Okay. Small oxygen tank. Your oxygen be used for medical or recreational purposes. Syringe, flat beaker, side booster, morphine shots. Okay, bandage. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Bad belt. Yeah, that didn't seem great. Maybe if you were doing like a super strength build or something, but for our purposes, it doesn't seem fantastic. Oh yeah, actually I do have a wound. I forgot about that. Can you look at my entries? Of course. That's why I'm here. I'll have to fix up in no time. Let him treat your wounds. I forgot I, ha I upset that guy and he punched me in the face. Good as new. Sweet, thanks. Thanks, Doc. Don't worry, I have my gun and my crowbar out, too. Alright, so that happened. Um, I guess we can just go down to the exit now? Unreal has free universal healthcare? That's amazing, actually. Comms and Cantina. This isn't a big enough station anyway. Yeah. Lower under rail station platform and barracks. I think we needed to go to the barracks to do the thing with the footlocker, right? Yeah, the free drugs. Yeah, it was like a bandage and a, a hypo needle. Nothing. Hello, Essie. A willowy woman removes her respirator and exhibits the smile underneath. I remember talking to her the first time you came here, but for some reason her name eludes you at the moment. She even mentioned it at all. Her light soprano voice is quick to remind you, though. Barracks do it later. That side quest will murder you at this point. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, remember me? Essie? Of course, Essie. How can I forget you? Essie! She laughs. Yes, that's my name. How's it going? Good. Decent. Got some stomach problems since I woke up, but I'll be better as soon as I take a nice walk. You do that. Continue. So... You need some help? Directions to be a bit more specific? Yes, I was hoping you could tell me how to get somewhere. Sure. Sure. Where are you headed? Never mind. I just remembered I have something to do with else first. Take care. Watch out once you get past the perimeter. There are lots of dangers lurking about. Okay, so we can't talk about that. I can't go talk to the sentry. None of these are boxes, but there are shelves I can steal from. Okay. So you said don't do the barracks thing right now? Do I have a quests, crafting, notes? Is it just notes? Talk to her on the engineering level to find out how to reactivate the power generator. Retrieve the package from the barracks at SGS station. And we talked to Harland about his quest. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go to the engineering or whatever. Harold? Yeah. Let's go talk to Harold. Oh, Harold. Is he over here? Oh, no, that's Ezra, right? So Harold must be this one? Yes. Oh, he's got the same face as me. I just realized that. Uh, Tender telling me you have a way to restore power to the outpost to the north? He nods, right. I remember taking a look at your power generator there a while back. I couldn't do anything about it back then, so I didn't have this. He rummages through the boxes that are on the table before producing something resembling an energy core. Here, it's a flux controller. If you insert it into the slot at the front of the power generator, it should get it running again. After that, ought to be able to re recreate, reactivate all the outposts. I'm afraid you'll have to do that manually, though. You see, each of them has a switch that cuts off the power in case of a hazard. Got it, thanks. I'll give it a try. Okay. Clone? Oh, that would actually make perfect sense. That actually makes perfect sense to me that he's a cl we're clones. Our long lost brother? That would be amazing. That would be it's the weirdest side quest if, if you look like one of the characters, it activates a like a hidden like side quest that your <laughs> dogbiter's evil twin, he would definitely be the good twin. Because here's, there's no way he he calmly works in a in a station like this and is the evil twin. If he was the evil twin of Dogbiter, he would be like a super villain or something. All right, uh, notes. Uh, react to power generator. Take the outpost and the K 
cave tunnels to the north. There are a total of five outposts, and you'll need to activate at least three of them. Um, okay, so now we gotta go talk to Harland. We reach by going to the SGS metro station and entering the underpassage from there. You never know. Oh my god, that would be the amazing twist. Alright, so... So we gotta go to the underrail station and then go somewhere? You got all the smarts. Well, Dogbiter got all the muscle and eyes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he wears glasses. I don't. He, he can't see, but he's smart. Whereas I can see great, but I'm only strong. Or only a good shot, really. How's it going, Sentry? Dogbiter McGillicuddy? That's me. Don't you forget it. Uh, oh, you know what I should do? You know what it's a good time for? Uh, it's a good time to save. I'm about to go get into some trouble. What is this thing? Oh, we are... This doesn't look good at all. Uh... Stealth mode. Nothing. Nothing. Weak. We're the stealthiest boy in stealth town. This area looks mildly damaged. Nothing down here? Really? Come on, even uh, Age of Decadence would have given me like a free plant or something. General, is that you? Autocon, what is it? <laughs> Freeze aim plant? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Auto turn is in, can, is, is in look mode. Oh, it's Harland. Hello, Harland. Wait, is he actively hostile? Why is he hostile? steal from the shelf. Oh, there's nothing on the shelf. Robbed. Active robbery. You went to the other side quest that will murder you. Oh, this one will murder me? I thought you said the one where I go to the, the barracks and get the box will murder me. Well, not yet anyway, but later on. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, both will? Oh, okay. Well, I guess... I guess we won't do these then. So we just gotta go do the thing where we reactivate the generators or whatever? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Main quest for it, for now. Yeah. Alright. Alright. And there's no reason to, like, walk around in stealth all the time, right? It's not like Skyrim style, where by practicing and I get it better at it. Ooh, barrel? Nothing. What is this, by the way? I don't like this. I don't dislike this red pile of goo over here. I don't care for it. <laughs> yes and no. You were correctly incorrect. Excuse me. Really? This looks very blocked off. All right, so the other one was retrieve the package, reactivate the power generator, and retake the outposts and the cave tunnels to the north. There are a total of five outposts, and you'll need to reactivate them. Okay. Can I cross the tracks? I can't. I can't. I. Well, just have enemies that use stealth against you. It's, it's not a player-only thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. Emergency phone, you say. Doesn't take a keen eye to notice that the emergency phone seems to be quite old, considering its technology composition as well as its current condition, the relative proximity of the railroad, and the phone station's overall design undoubtedly point to its purpose. That they are to be used in situ in station which involve un unsired circumstances when it comes to the functionality of railroad traffic. 
Typically, these phones feature an interface which has six distinct buttons, each with a unique icon on them. The phone uses a coil cord, and the headphones itself has no additional features other than a speaker and a receiver. Lastly, an exposed digital display port lies be right beneath a sm small metal door, both located under said buttons. The, 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 the correct connector's pins are bulky, but a few in uh, but few in number. Oh. What? Open the metal compartment. There's some loot inside. Take the items inside and leave. We got a blue cloth, a metal scrap, and an electronic scrap. What? <laughs> Order pizza on that thing? <laughs> that would be amazing. There's a, 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 like a legitimate tie-in with like dominoes or something. If your stealth is high enough compared to your detection, determined by perception and item, then they'll be invisible to you. But if you're stealthing around everywhere, then they won't see you either. So you can stealth to counter stealth. Gotcha. Okay. But it's not like a practice thing where like the more I do it, if I stealth up on like five enemies, I get another a free point of stealth, right? Also, why can't I go across these tracks, by the way? Nope. Okay. That's what I was more concerned with. I figured there was stealth and counter stealth. I was just wondering if there was a reason to like practice stealth or something. Stealth mode. <laughs> so, okay, red means they see me, right? Gray is they don't see me, red is they do see me? Yes, okay. That's Roman. Ye. Oh, is this the foot lockers I'm looking for? I bet that's the foot lockers I'm looking for. Okay. Hi, you must be Dogwater McKillicuddy. Name's Roman. I'm in charge of this barricade. I wish I had time to chat, but I'm quite busy right now. Have you made any progress in clearing the tunnel? How much damage did the earthquake do? We're not sure. It might be that tunnel just caved in a couple of places. I've sent parties to the tunnel. Sign interest to investigate. We'll know more when they return. You made any progress? Not much so far. We... We have to dig deep enough to safely plant the explosive, otherwise we risk damaging the tunnel even more. Okay, I'll leave you to your work then. Yeah, okay. I just it's good to know where it's actually like at. Okay, so how do I get over there? Oh, this way? No, that's down. If you go to the north exit here, you'll die you die? Oh, okay. Ghost area is on the bottom of the elevator list. Oh, okay, so it's that one. Gotcha. I thought those were all going on here, but... Apparently not. Okay, so the cave tunnel exit and docks is where we're going? It's a sentry bot. Right now, you can die easily. Yeah, I have to imagine. I have basically, like, super basic armor and a basic silenced gun. Hey, Malcolm. The man greets you with a warm smile. Ah, oh, Dogbiter McGillicuddy. Good to finally meet you. I'm Malcolm. I'm gonna help you. I need to get into the caves. Can you get your access card yet? Right, yes. Should be around here somewhere. He starts looking through the drawers. Well, you want to go north as soon as you get out of here. Okay. Uh, there it is. He produces a red cross card and it passes it to you. Now listen here. This is a procedure. There, this is the procedure. If you want to leave, you let me know and I'll open the inner gate. You then step into the transition room. Then I close the inner gate and open the outer gate and off you go. Alright, now, when you want to get back in, use the card I gave you on the console outside. Stand in front of the camera so I can confirm it's you. Then I'll open the outer gate. Earlier, we used to do bioscanning every... every Every time someone passed, and so no one ever showed up positive, it became a nuisance. But if I do contract a disease, it'd be kind enough to inform me so I can activate the turrets. It'll shred you to pieces, 
We'll burn the remains and everything's good. Juggles, just kidding. Where am I? Open the gate, please. I'm off to the caves. Okay, open the gate. He nods. Oh, and there's a tip for you. If you find yourself surrounded by rat hounds, use flares to scare them away. They'll be back, though, so try not to stick around. I want to stomp them out, not scare them away. Well then, try not try not to lose a foot. You're good to go. I'll be driving now, I'll be right back. All right. He's not kidding. About losing a foot or, oh, shooting you with the turrets? No, I believe he would shoot me with the turrets. I 100% believe he would shoot me with the turrets if given the chance. Oh, about the flares. No, the flares, I, I also feel like is, he's telling the truth. Probably want to save uh, uh, Hound Hunt. Rat catcher. Get a rat catcher. No, I don't care that I see this the wrong. Well, this is very Fallout 1. This is super Fallout 1. Activating stealth mode. The height of my stealth capabilities. It's old Jonas, and he sees me. Who are you? An old man wearing an old coat, old pants, old boots introduced themselves with an amble smile. Oh, it's the young dogbiter McGillicuddy. Opt to do some hunting? What? Cheese poisons? What? Cheese poisons. Oh, is that what this guy's deal is? He sells poison? What is this place? This is the this is the crossroad watch. The only way to get into our station from the tunnels is through here. What are you doing here? Just sorting through some, some goods I scavenged today. I want to take a look, see if there's something you like. Before I take it back to the station, I offer a fair mark. Oh. Oh, cheese poisons for the save name. That makes sense, too. What do we got? Some guns. Ooh, he's got bear traps. Oh, he's got a fishing rod. Should I pick one of these up? Do we need a fishing rod? Oh, I don't have enough money. He wants he wants 1100 for it. I only have 170 bucks left. Biotechnician suit. Um, Stygian coins. Little boots. Remember, soul. Unsaturated psionic catalyst. The catalyst can be used to create psi enhancing conditions. Energy pistol frame. Okay. So, I mean, the fishing rod seems important, but other than that, I don't think I need anything. Can loot some lockers. What do we got? Empty shotgun shells. Okay. I'll take that. Still. We have a barrel. And a barrel. We have rocks! <laughs> okay. I didn't I didn't expect rocks to be a thing. As you approach the passage, you can hear faint squeaking sounds coming from up ahead and a pair of red beady eyes blinking in and out of the darkness. Oh, okay, so they're warning me that there's gonna be some rats or something. Oh, I didn't want to shoot it. Oh, well that was just a waste of bullets. I didn't realize I was shooting it. Kill everyone run? We're not doing a kill everyone run. I don't even know if that's an option. Bats? What is this? Like mushrooms or something? I don't even know if that's an option yet. So we're not doing a kill everyone run. Not, ev not yet, anyway. Not yet. We are getting close to needing to switch over to Codelica, though. 
Jonah sees us. He sees right through our stealth. I'm just curious how hard combat is going to be compared to those robots. Because if we killed that one robot during the training pretty fast, I'm assuming it's going to be at least five times harder than that. It's this way. I'm assuming at a minimum. So I'm guessing the thing is we could go blow up those rocks or something and... Barrel, barrel, barrel. Oh. Structure, illumina illuminized cloth, rubber sole, and electronic scraps. Some 7.26 casings and a five bottles. Oh, can we make our own Molotovs? Soft foam padding, structure, empty shotgun shells, fabric scraps. 8.6 millimeter casings. They have chosen some very interesting calibers for your guns. I like the little lizard like running around over here. That's very fun. We have some um, fireflies going on by the lake. By the pond, I would guess. It's probably a pond. I guess if we bought the rod, we can go fishing here, then. I assume is how that goes. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. We got some free stuff, though. this one a different color maybe it's just the randomized lighting effect but it looks weird to me wait was that a monster noise or was that just the ambient noise Ooh, okay we have a mole cricket and a sign They don't seem to see me yet. Which is good. Uh, that work? Oh, it did work. Okay. It's almost dead. Okay, now it's dead. Oh, okay, we went back into combat. Oh, because all I have left is movement ones, I'm guessing, right? Saves 10 action points? Really? Okay. It's not ready yet. So wait, how does... Uh... So I'm in stealth mode. But it knows where I'm at. It tried to bite me, but it misses. Okay. We want to shoot the cricket. Nice. Okay. How do I... Take that! Saved ourselves a couple of bullets by, uh, <laughs> by using our, our crowbar just to finish it off, of course. Insectoid salvarium? Insectoid salvia saliva may be extracted from this organ to be used for medical purposes. Okay. Sure, why not? 
So we killed some stuff. We actually defeated some crickets. weird. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, we're still in combat. Unfortunately, we missed our guaranteed crit attack, but overall, not too bad. What is this? Oh, pit block. There's like a bottle here? Mushroom cave. Junkyard and Camp Hathor. Barrel. Shotgun choke. Like that, oh, and dirty rags. If we can find some alcohol, we've got all the things we need to make Molotovs. Tell me what's that direction, though. I guess maybe the other direction, but not this direction. So, did I go the wrong way? Is that what the problem is? That's probably what, what the problem is, right? Like, I just went the wrong direction? Because I'm supposed to be looking for these broken down outposts. Mushroom Cave. The Junkyard. And Camp Hathor. Huh. So yeah, I'm guessing I just went the wrong direction. We have zero oddities. Because I feel like we're going the right direction for the purposes of finding the outposts. It just feels like that wasn't the direction I needed to go to get to the other outposts. Because they mentioned the rat hounds, and we haven't actually come across any of those yet. Stealth mode before we leave. they can't see me and I can't see them, then we just don't see each other. Oh, here we go. Here's a rat hound. I'm just gonna, gonna wait till one of them wander a little closer over. Come on, now you wander off, huh? I was hoping to get one of them alone, because I just don't know how much of a threat this thing's gonna be. Is it... Okay, enter to begin combat. All right. So what happens if I enter combat and they don't know I'm there? Do they just do their normal thing and as 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 is tradition? Nice. Down it goes. Wow, that actually worked perfectly. Call me surprised. I legit didn't think that was going to work that way. So my first combat against something that could legitimately kill me was successful. I mean, I don't know how dangerous those cave whatevers are, but... God. Oh God, I'm taking actual damage. Oh, it saved five points? Take that. Okay, there we go. Let's do that again. It almost worked. 
It had like five hit points left. Adrenal gland. A skilled biologist can extract a small amount of adrenal from this <laughs> adrenaline from this gland. Adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, this this is actually working way better than I thought it would. We discovered a trap door. Okay. I thought it said I discovered a trap. Like, I walked into a trap when I came in here. So I was actually concerned. Ooh. Bullets and a health hypo? Let's go. A free lock pick and a border guard orders. These old bloodstained orders were issued by Omega Central Command to their border guards. Orders state that the guards are to shoot anyone that they perceive as SGS members on site. Also, a thousand of Sharon's bounty is placed on one called Gorski. Study this item to gain one point of experience. You can study this item up to three times. Oh, okay, so I can study that to get XP? Did I get the side quest from Jonas? Yeah, you went south instead of north. Oh. Did you get the side quest from Jonas? Probably not. What's what's his quest? Ooh. Nice. More bullets. Some 6P shotgun shell. And a side booster, which we don't we don't need the side booster. Bandages. More hypo needles. Nice. My health seems to have recovered. Which, which was the side quest from Jonas? I don't think I got that one. Okay, there's the trap door. I don't know if I want to activate that yet. Looks like there's some more rat hounds running around over here. Watch? Oh, I didn't get any quest for a watch, no. Oh, the other one saw, though. Oh, we missed. Retreat. Oh, I got a critical? Seriously? You dirty rat. Okay. I don't have enough action points to shut the gate. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, we're doing lots less damage without the critical hit guarantee. And then I fired again. And then I missed. And then I fired. And then I fired. And I missed. I missed both times. And then I fired. And I missed. <laughs> I've heard that before, and it's very good. That stupid rat hound. Nice! We got a critical with our crowbar! That's amazing. That's amazing. We got a rat hound leather. We can make more armor. Okay, so do I heal over time? Is that what happened before? Because I didn't take any healing items. Right weapon equipped. It's like, why can't I shoot him? Because I don't I don't have the right weapon equipped. Reloading. Critical. Double critical. Let's go. Absolutely got there, team. No reason to go. We're already there. Give that a second. <laughs> Reach. Reach set. It's very interesting that even outside of combat, stealth takes a moment to... Lockpicking? We can lockpick stuff. Hold on. What? 
With your active lung until you can handle up to 16. We can handle 16 locks. <laughs> we can handle locks of a 16th caliber. I don't know how often they break or whatever, but... Okay, you just use one per attempt. What is that from? What is I remember- I've heard that clip from, from someplace, but I don't remember what it's from. More hypo. Ooh, boots! More orders. Okay, studied once. Picked up Citizen Sign of the Game, one point of experience. Okay. Oh, okay, so just by picking it up, I get to study it. Got it. Cool. So we have boots. Made of hopper leather. Agility increased by one and stealth increased by three. Armor penalty of one. We're still reduced by 15 on our armor penalty, so we're still not feeling the armor penalty yet. Your HP super slowly regens about 90%. Otherwise, no. Oh. Odd. Okay. So he took three damage, and then it regened that three back. Odd. Alright, so should I go get the quest for the watch first from Jonas? I mean, if I'm just wasting time doing this basic quest stuff. I might as well go and get, uh, get the side quest to do. There's got to be one inside of here, right? Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, no, never mind. I thought that was going to be open inside. Or is this just... It's just a dead end. Okay. And that's 410. This might be the perfect place to call it then. Since we've cleared out this area. Um, save. Four. Okay. Alright, perfect. I think it's a good place a, a good place to call it right now. We just finished up this whole area, so we can we can go check out those trapdoors or go back and get the Jonas quest. And I think that'll work out good for us. Of course, all the lurkers, thank you. You helped the Twitch world go around. We always appreciate you. Anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch or checks the VODs in the YouTube repository. Always appreciate that. Seeing those numbers help keep me motivated. Um, again, shout out for the event on January 1st. We'll be doing a search them as a group. Starting about 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and then we'll be switching over after we get done with that. Or come 6 p.m., whichever happens first, um, we'll be switching over and watching Princess Bride over in the Discord, a Discord event. If you want info about that, go stop by the Discord. There is an event up over there. Um, if you need a well-thought-out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hillbrook Inc., thinking solutions. Um, I think that's about got it, though. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you all back. Saturday for um, Underrail and more Daymare 1998. Um, but yeah, I think I think that'll be it, everyone. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. My brain's pretty fried right now. Um, but yeah, bye.